Welcome to our channel Storm Rider. The 2026 Tirpitz battleship represents one of the most ambitious naval engineering projects of the modern era, blending the intimidating presence of a capital ship with technologies that would have been considered science fiction only a few decades ago. When people first see images or models of the Tirpitz, the initial impression is that it is massive, but not in the bulky, exposed way older battleships used to be. Instead, its size is hidden under a sleek, stealth-influenced exterior that looks more like something designed for advanced aerospace operations than traditional sea combat. The hull is shaped with sharp angles and clean surfaces, using materials that reduce radar reflection and heat output, giving it a smaller detectable signature than its size would suggest. This approach lets the Tirpitz move through contested waters with a lower chance of detection, which is extremely valuable in an era where surveillance technology and long-range sensors dominate military strategy. The superstructure, which rises from the center of the hull, is compact but dense with integrated systems. Instead of tall exposed masts or radar dishes spinning in the open air, everything is enclosed inside smooth composite towers. These structures protect advanced radar units, communication antennas, and electronic warfare modules from the environment while also reducing the number of vulnerable external parts. The materials used here are not only strong but also resistant to corrosion, heat, and electronic interference. Designers aimed for a ship that would require less maintenance, operate longer at sea, and stay effective even in conditions where electronic attacks or harsh weather would normally damage exposed equipment. The weapons systems are one of the most talked about features of the 2026 Tirpitz, especially its electromagnetic railguns. These powerful turrets launch specially designed projectiles at extremely high speeds without relying on explosions or chemical propellants. The lack of traditional explosives in the firing process means the guns generate less heat, produce fewer visible firing signatures, and allow for faster repeated shots. Their range is far greater than conventional naval artillery, and their accuracy at long distances is enhanced by advanced targeting systems that take wind, humidity, curvature of the earth, and even target movement into account automatically. The advantage of this system is that the turpits can hit targets before those targets have a viable chance of getting close enough to respond. In addition to the railguns, the ship is equipped with rows of vertical launch cells embedded within the deck. These cells hold a mix of long-range cruise missiles, anti-ship missiles, submarine hunting missiles, and defensive interceptors designed to stop incoming threats. The missile system is automated, meaning it can calculate which weapon is best suited for a particular situation without relying entirely on human input, though the crew always has final control. This automation allows the ship to react quickly if multiple threats appear at once. For closer defense, the ship uses a combination of fast tracking cannons and directed energy laser systems. The lasers are powered by the ship's advanced reactor and can operate for extended periods without running out of material ammunition. Their purpose is to neutralize smaller but fast moving threats like drones or hostile surveillance equipment. The heart of the Tirpitz is its power source, a compact nuclear reactor that provides enormous energy output. This energy not only moves the ship but also fuels its weapons, electronics, and life support systems. Because nuclear propulsion allows for long missions without refueling, the Tirpitz can remain deployed for months at a time. This endurance gives naval commanders much greater flexibility when planning global operations, since the ship doesn't need to constantly return to ports for fuel. The reactor is designed with multiple safety layers, internal monitoring systems, and automatic shutdown protocols to prevent dangerous failures. The engineering teams emphasized both performance and long-term stability, making sure the ship could meet the high electrical demands of railguns, lasers, long-range radars, and the array of onboard computers. Defense goes far beyond physical armor. Although the Tirpitz does have protective plating made from hardened metal alloys and ceramic composites, the real strength lies in what it can detect and disrupt. Its radar systems can track aircraft, missiles, surface ships, and underwater vehicles over great distances. These radars are assisted by satellite links, giving the ship access to information gathered far outside its immediate line of sight. It also carries electronic warfare equipment that can create false signals, distort enemy radar, or interfere with the guidance systems of incoming threats. This kind of defense reduces the chance of the ship being targeted effectively and increases the survivability of not only the Tirpitz but also any nearby allied vessels that depend on its protective coverage. 
Inside the ship, the layout emphasizes both safety and efficiency. Many traditional manual tasks have been replaced by automated machinery, robotic maintenance units, and digital systems that constantly monitor the ship's internal condition. The crew is smaller than one might expect for a vessel of this size, but each crew member has access to advanced tools, real-time data, and automated support systems that reduce stress and workload during long deployments. Living quarters are more comfortable than older ships, with better lighting, climate control, and noise reduction technology. The designers recognize that modern missions require long periods of sustained performance, so they focused on creating an environment that supports physical and mental well-being. One of the ship's most forward-thinking features is its modular upgrade system. Instead of building a ship that stays locked in its original configuration for decades, the Tirpitz was designed so that key components like radar panels, weapon modules, drone launchers, and internal control systems can be replaced or upgraded without completely rebuilding the ship. This extends its service life considerably and ensures that it can keep up with rapidly evolving technology. The ship also maintains a dedicated bay for unmanned aerial vehicles, which can be used for surveillance, environmental monitoring, or precision operations. These drones expand the ship's operational reach and provide valuable real-time information during missions. In practice, the 2026 Tirpitz is more than just a warship. It is a command center, a long-range deterrent, a surveillance hub, and a technological showcase that demonstrates how far modern naval design has come. Its combination of endurance, stealth-influenced design, high-energy weapons, strong defensive networks, and flexible internal systems makes it adaptable to a wide variety of missions, whether it is supporting peacekeeping efforts, securing international waters, or ensuring stability in high-tension regions. The Tirpitz symbolizes a shift in naval philosophy, where power is defined not only by traditional firepower but also by information control, energy efficiency, mobility, and resilience.